I'm getting text messages, that's not fun. So if I look a little extra tired today, it's because I am. <laughs> I also have a super annoying friend that decided to join my face today. I covered it up. If you can still see it, I'm sorry. It's very distracting, hence why I covered it up. I don't have any other makeup on my face. It's just this basic- you know what? I'm gonna expose myself. I have a cold sore. Cold sore pimple on my lip. Don't know what it is. So I used some concealer to cover it up. It was very distracting. It was not cute. I didn't like it, so I covered it up. You can't tell. Kind of. I hope. <laughs> What's up? It's Christina with a K. You don't forget it that way. And today is technically it's Wednesday, but you're not going to see this until Friday. So it's Friday and Fridays are the days that I just do my makeup and talk my shit. Nothing really crazy, but I am excited because I'm doing a full face kind of mostly <laughs> of ColourPop. I did try to get like an actual full face, but some of the stuff that I wanted to get wasn't even available on ColourPop's website anymore. I didn't get brow products. Obviously, I already have my brows on. ColourPop doesn't have any brow markers and the way that I do my brows now, I don't really use pencil. I've tried their stuff in the past before. I just didn't see myself having to buy brow products that I just knew that I wasn't going to use. So most of the stuff I got was on sale. They were having a pretty big sale. So I was like, you know what? Let's get some stuff. I wanted to do a full face of ColourPop, but I didn't have, technically still don't have a full face, but I think I have enough to get it done. I'll show you what I got. I'll do my makeup. We'll talk some bullshit. And yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> All right, so um, I'm missing a couple things. Like I said, I don't have a primer, I don't have brow products, and I don't have powder. I also don't have mascara or eyeliner, but I think I have pretty much everything else. <laughs> So let's get into it. All right, so since I don't have a primer, I'm going to use the e.l.f. Jelly Pop Primer. Supposedly, this is a dupe for the milk makeup, the hydrating, the gripping one. You know which one I'm talking about, the primer, the green one. <laughs> I don't have that one, never tried it. I'm not actually even that big on primers, but I'm also not that big on foundation and I got foundation. Technically, this is a second impression, not a first impression. So I guess I'm just clickbaiting the fuck out of this video. But basically, I tried to do my makeup yesterday because all of this stuff came in yesterday, but I basically just poked myself in the eye with mascara and it ruined my makeup. So I was like, you know what? I'm scrapping this. Tomorrow's another day and today's yesterday's tomorrow. So here we are. <laughs> I didn't even really get to like test out the products uh, for real because literally my face got ruined and I was looking like Popeye. I was like, sorry guys. <laughs> But I will say I was impressed. I think I like all these products so far. I didn't really get to test out layers, but say la vie. So this is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Hydrating Foundation. I'm not a really big foundation girl, but I heard that this is pretty similar to their tinted moisturizer, just like a little more coverage. And I really like their tinted moisturizer. I was actually gonna use that, but it's in my summer, it's in my summer shade. So I got this instead. I got Light 60N. I don't think it's a perfect shade match for me, but okay i think it's actually not as neutral as it should be i feel like it leans a little warm and i'm i'm a pretty neutral i'm a pretty neutral girl i'm gonna wet my sponge i also didn't get a concealer i have the fourth ray beauty concealer not really super impressed with it so i think i'm gonna have to use a different one i mean i could just show you and show you why i'm not impressed with it but then my makeup is not gonna look as good i'll show you so i just put one pump on the back of my hand and just to oh, I hate when I get foundation in my hair. I probably should just clip my hair back, but it's still drying, so. I'm just using the e.l.f., uh, what is this? Complexion sponge? Total face sponge? I don't know, they have so many sponges, honestly. But I really like this one. Super soft, super bouncy. I feel like it doesn't take away too much coverage. Which is so weird. I feel like at one point people were saying that sponges give you less coverage than brushes. And now I feel like people are saying that sponges give you more coverage because it's patting it into the skin as opposed to rubbing it around. I'm just so confused as to what the consensus is on that. For me, I've always used a sponge to kind of like take away excess product. So I think that it like gives you less coverage, but I don't fucking know, honestly. I'm not a makeup artist, what the fuck do I know? I feel like if I were to go with any other shade, it would either be too light or too deep or just a completely wrong undertone like this i can kind of get away with this is the type of foundation that i like to wear because i really don't like to wear foundation in general i just find that they they tend to sit heavier on my skin but since this is a more hydrating foundation it just looks nicer in my opinion 
I'm a fan of it. I'm not mad at it. Oh, I forgot to mention, I also got um, their cleansers. This is the 4th Ray Beauty AM to PM Gel Cleanser and the BFD Cleansing Oil. I wanted to get this, but this wasn't on their website. This was. So I bought this off of ColourPop and I bought this off of Ulta because I wanted to get into double cleansing. <laughs> I know I'm super late to that party, but I'm just a lazy face washer. Like, I'll just wash my face twice with a regular, like, gel cleanser. But I wanted to get into cleansing oils because I feel like they are better at taking off your makeup. I don't know. I took my makeup off yesterday that I failed to do with these, and I was pretty impressed. And it also didn't feel like my skin was, like, stripped afterward because my skin is pretty dry. I have, like, dry combination skin, but my skin felt pretty decent afterwards, so... I like that. I just wanted to like mention it. So for concealer, don't really like this concealer and I also think it's too late for me. This is in the light 45W. This is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Creamy Concealer. I don't know why I thought this was 4th Ray Beauty. Does 4th Ray Beauty have beauty or is it just skincare? I don't know, but this is ColourPop's concealer or one of them. I just feel like this is super thick and I don't really like thick concealers. I like concealers that are a little more watery because I just find that they don't sit as heavy on my skin. Oh, shh. I forgot to prep my skin with this on camera. I did it off camera, but I also got this from ColourPop. It's their coconut face milk. I don't know if this is like a moisturizer or what this is supposed to be, but it does leave my face really hydrated and it smells good. And I don't mind it under makeup either. So I tried it yesterday under makeup and it was pretty, it was pretty decent. So yeah, this is in Light 45W. I don't like this concealer. It's just very thick. I actually got this a long time ago and I never liked it, but I figured it's a full face of ColourPop and I can tell you why I don't like it. You can just, I don't know if you can see, but it's just the texture of it. It might be expired. That could very well be the reason why, because I honestly don't even remember when I got this concealer. But I just, I never liked the consistency of it. It was always this consistency. It was always thick, which is surprising because it's supposed to be like a creamy, like hyaluronic, concealer it's just like heavy on the face i don't know why on my nose it does not look good i mean the foundation looked good on my nose but this concealer just does not it's too thick period it's just too thick i just personally don't like it i'm sorry if this is like one of your favorite <laughs> concealers ever but this is exactly why they make different makeup I literally have the most obnoxious neighbors in the world. Like we live on a fucking quiet ass suburban street and they just wanna like race fucking hot cars down the street. Like bro, I'm sorry. Like you're you're really not cool. Your like, car is making all that sound just for it to take mad long to get to the end of the street. Like you're not fucking, what's his name? <laughs> Lightning McQueen. <laughs> I don't know, bro. They're just so fucking annoying. They do that shit like every day because there's a lot of like racers and they just all have like loud, semi fast cars that they think are faster than they actually are. And it's really annoying because it's so fucking loud and they do it all day. Okay, you want to take your car out for a drive? Do that. I don't think you have to do it on the same street every five seconds. It just gets even more annoying like when. It disrupts like whatever you're doing. Like I would be fucking in school and that shit would just blast by when I'm in the middle of Zoom. And I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Now it's especially annoying because, uh, you know, I'm recording. So selfish of me, selfish of them. So I guess we're both assholes. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> so yeah, that's the concealer. It's actually not super bad today, but I don't know if you can just tell like under my eye it's just not it and it's not even because there's foundation underneath like this is literally how it looked yesterday when i didn't put foundation underneath my eyes the reason why i actually put the foundation underneath my eyes today was because i looked crazy yesterday because it was super bright under my eyes and i just looked wild yeah but i just i'm not impressed with this concealer it's probably gonna go in the garbage which is a shame because i've literally there's it's full like this is heavy with how much product it is or it has but the rest of the face looks good i really like that foundation it looks really nice on the skin it doesn't look super heavy <sighs> yo my neighbors are gonna get a complaint i'm filing a complaint <laughs> but i'm not upset with the fact that you can still see some blemishes i don't mind you know showing some blemishes i usually just wear concealer and you can always see like a little bit of imperfections really don't mind it not bad Especially coming from me because I don't even like to wear foundation. So I'm really impressed with this. I don't know why my eyes still kind of look swollen. Do you see that? I don't know. 
I really like poked. I wish I still had the footage. I poked the hell out of my eye yesterday. It was like swollen red. I like couldn't even open my eye for like five minutes. It was crazy. All right, so I'm gonna set with a powder. I don't have one from ColourPop. I'm just gonna use the Wet n Wild Pre- mm. Yeah, I'll use this. I haven't used it in a long time. Since this is a hydrating foundation, I'm probably gonna have to set my whole face. I don't really like to set my whole face with powder, but I also don't want it to transfer because it's not. It doesn't like set to like a powder finish. It's hydrating, so it's not going to do that. So this is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Pressed Powder Compact. And this is in the shade Warm Light. The eyeshadow palette I'm gonna mention, I didn't buy in this past haul. I already had it for a couple months and I really, really like it, but I literally saw no reviews on it. Like maybe like three. So I'm excited to show you guys it because I feel like it's really good. ColourPop said that it was one of their best selling eyeshadow palettes. I don't think that's true, but I do think it's a really good eyeshadow palette. So it should be a best selling eyeshadow palette, but how could it be a best selling eyeshadow palette if I didn't hear anybody talk about it? Right? Does that make sense? I don't know. I don't know if I'm ever making sense, honestly. I feel like I don't even think before I speak. I'm literally just, it's like a stream of consciousness. Don't know what I'm saying until I say it. <laughs> Which definitely gets me in trouble. I also definitely have concealer in my hair. Love that. <sighs> Can you tell I'm running on like one hour of sleep? which I don't advocate, it's just, I basically pulled an all-nighter so that I would go to sleep earlier today because I'd be tired and then I'd wake up earlier tomorrow. Yeah, just like regulate my sleeping schedule, but who knows how well that's gonna work. I'm just a night owl. Imagine if work started at 5 p.m. and we got out at like 1 p.m., 1 a.m. and then you can go out for a drink after, come back home at like three or four, sleep for the day, go back to work at five. It's an eight hour work day. It's just not a nine to five. I think the world would be so much better because I'm just not a morning person. And I know some people genuinely are morning person, morning persons, morning people, but like, are you a morning person because you want to be a morning person or are you a morning person because you have to be a morning person? Let me know. Because I feel like honestly, if the norm was 5 p.m. to 1 a.m. and we just sleep all day, Nobody would want to be a morning person. No, because nobody would have to be. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. <laughs> oh my God. If you keep hearing those cars, I'm so sorry. That's the same dude that literally just, he like went down the street that, this way and now he just came back up. Like, what was the reason? You took, you took the car for a spin for like three minutes. What was the reason? All right. Um, I also don't have contour from ColourPop, but I do have bronzers. However, they're not new bronzers. They're like actually probably expired bronzers. I got these um, as per Kathleen Light's recommendation because I fucking love Kathleen. She just seems so nice, like genuinely so nice. So I really trust her recommendations and she really liked this bronzer. I think it's, it doesn't even say the name on it. This is super old ColourPop. It says ColourPop Press Powder Face Highlighter Bronzer. I don't know what the fuck that means, like which one is it, but I really like this bronzer when I first got it. It's kind of like a, has like a slight sheen to it. I'm pretty sure this is called Private Party, but it doesn't say on it, so I don't know. And it doesn't even really matter because you can't get it anymore anyways. I was actually looking for bronzers on ColourPop's website, but they don't um, have any new ones. I know I had these, so I busted them out. And honestly, I'm not really even mad <laughs> that these are expired. I feel like powder products, I don't think it necessarily matters as much. I don't know, I could totally be wrong on that and like promote like bad <laughs> habits of using expired makeup. I've never had that problem. Like if I'm using a foundation or a concealer, yeah. But like blush, bronzer, when the fuck does that shit expire? I know makeup expires, but like does it really sometimes? Does it really? How do you even know that it's expired? Just because of the date? Like, okay, theoretically, let's say I were to have bought this bronzer right now. How do I know when ColourPop put this bronzer in their stock and like how far along the timeline of expiration it's been. It could totally come to me halfway expired and I wouldn't even know because it's a new product to me so I would assume, hey, it takes a year to expire, etc, etc. You know? I don't know. I think this expiration shit is kind of a scam when it comes to powder products. That's just my opinion though. But don't take my word on it. I'm not qualified. I'm just saying. I be using expired bronzes. It is what it is. Cool, so I gave a cute little bronze to the face, but it's also a little glowy. Love that. I haven't actually used these in forever because I just love bronzer. I'm always trying out different ones. I also have this shade, which is a little deeper. I'll just put a little bit. Fuck it. When in doubt, add more bronzer. <laughs> Me and my best friend Sam would always say that to each other in high school. When in doubt, 
just add more bronzer. You can never have too much bronzer. I mean, you can, but like, can you? I don't know. All right, so like I said, I don't have any contour from ColourPop. I'm just gonna take the Essence Matte Bronzing Palette and I'm gonna take this and this. I know it's not ColourPop, but it's super cheap. I don't know if I mentioned that. Anything that's not ColourPop I'm using is gonna be either drugstore or like available at Ulta, super affordable. So I'm pretty sure this palette, which has four colors that you can all use, even if you're not using them on your face, you can definitely use them as eyeshadows. And I think it's only like $10 for a pretty decent formula. Is it the best shade for contour? Maybe not, because they're bronzers, but I will say they have like a variety of undertones. Some of them are a little cooler. And then obviously there's a variation in terms of like depth, like there's light, dark, somewhere in the middle. Well, this is not even that dark. I don't think this is gonna work on anyone that's like over a medium, medium-ish deep complexion. I don't know, can't vouch for that. I'm pretty, pretty Casper right now. <laughs> But uh, yeah, cool. Now I'm just gonna clean up my contour with some powder. I always tend to bring it down a little bit. I'm actually gonna take a foundation brush, literally like tuck it right under. Just kind of helps like erase any mistakes that you made. Clean it up without like baking. I really don't like baking. Some people like chisel out their jawline by baking underneath their contour. I just don't see like the reason for that. I think you can get the same effect just by sweeping some powder. I'm sorry I keep looking in the monitor. Monitor. I'm recording on my phone. I'm sorry that I'm looking at myself, period. I just, I look crazy because I haven't slept <laughs> and I'm like very self-conscious about it right now. So for highlighter, I'm gonna take, um, this is the hardest compact to open, but I love this compact because it has a huge mirror and I can just like fit my whole face in this mirror and it's also pretty. So I like that. This is the Coastin Super Shock highlighter this is a cute highlighter i wanted to get uh the one that's called your trip but it was unavailable i just figured i'd get this one because i really really wanted the compact and it's a huge pan obviously the only thing i don't like about this highlight is that there are specks of glitter i don't know if you can see them on camera but it's very evident in person that there is glitter in here it's not the end of the world because it's not like an offensive amount of glitter but it's enough to make me notice it and not particularly love that aspect of this highlighter but it's still super pretty i always put my high well i'm not gonna say that because then there's gonna be the one time i don't do it and people are like what happened i usually put my highlighter on before my blush. Uh, sometimes when you put highlighter on top of blush, it gives us a look a little too stripey. So I like to put the highlighter first, kind of diffuse it out with a blush. And then if I feel like I need to add more, I lost too much of the highlight, I'll add more. This is the, like I said, the Super Shock formula. So it's like one of those that you can press in. I don't know why I like this texture so much. I feel like it just looks so pretty on the skin, even though it does have glitter, which I don't love, but I always liked the ColourPop super shock highlights <clears throat> excuse me <laughs> sounded a little too raspy there i always like the color pop super shock highlights i had wisp and i think what's that other one <coughs> kathleen lights recommended it to me i can't <laughs> to me personally she called me up on the phone and was like hey christina you need to try this highlighter um no i can't remember what it's called when i I'll, I'll remember at some point. I'll figure it out. I'll look it up or something and I'll let you know. But it's super pretty. It's super um, light though. So if you're any deeper than me, it's not going to work on you. It barely even works on me sometimes. I just really have to like finesse it. All right. So for blush, I have three options. So these two I got in a set together. I think it was the Into the Bloom collection. I don't know. It was basically just these two blushes. I bought them because I love the compacts. I think they're so pretty. Also, I really like the colors. So this is Foxy. It's kind of like a nude apricot peach. I don't know, but there are some pieces of like gold glitter in here. And then this one is called Out of Sight, which is a very similar color, but it's just pinker. It has a little more pink in it, a little more like rosy terracotta-y, and it's a little deeper. And then I got this one, which came in a set with this luxe lip oil. So this is to ran me up. It's a very pale, like peachy color. And then this is the lip oil in the shade Blossom. This was on sale and it came together and I always wanted to try the Lux oils. So I got it. As far as which blush I'm actually going to use, I don't know. So yesterday I used this one first because I wasn't sure that it was gonna show up on me since it is so light in the pan, but it does show up on me. However, I don't know if I wanna use this one today. All right, so I'm gonna apply shade Foxy. Hmm, that's cute. 
but it's definitely glitter in it and like seeing that on my face it's also there's a sheen to it too so there's glitter and a sheen to these i'm really not obsessed with glitter though i really don't know why they chose to put glitter in their blushes but i like it i like this blush i think it looks pretty i like it <sighs> let's get to the eyes right so for the eyes i'm gonna be using the ColourPop sandstone palette I feel like it's like a super pretty like fall palette you have greens you have oranges you have warm browns you have cool browns you have literally everything in this palette i just feel like beautiful fall palette but nobody talked about it not sure why it's not new any not that these are super new because like i said ColourPop puts out product every five seconds so is anything ever really new i also have this brush roll that i got from ColourPop a couple months ago I've only used it a couple times. I think they're pretty and they get the job done. I like completely forget that I have this brush roll sometimes. I have like all of my brushes and cups here. So sometimes if I just don't see this, I just won't grab it. But now I remember it, so hi, here we are. So I'm gonna take Vortex, which is this shade right here. Wait, this shade right here. I'm just gonna put that in my crease as like a transition. It's gonna be the most basic eye you've ever seen in your life. I just want to show you that this palette is cute. I really like it. Um, and yeah. This is actually the only ColourPop eyeshadow palette that I have so far. Usually when I buy eyeshadows, I want to get shades that I don't necessarily have already. Which is actually why I know this isn't ColourPop, but I really love these e.l.f. quads. I have like almost all of them. They're only three bucks. And like when you get all of them, you pretty much have like all of the colors you would ever need. Anyways, we're not here to talk about e.l.f. We can do that another Friday. Simple, right? Cool, you're following me. So now I'm just gonna take this shade, which is grounded. A bunch of matte shades that have shimmer in it, but then I can't tell if they all do or if like the shimmer and glitter from the other ones just fall out and end up like slightly glitterifying <laughs> the eyeshadows i don't know i just don't understand why they put glitter in matte shadows like if it's matte it's matte you don't see a lot of glitter on your eye but it's just like why is it there so i've been like absolutely obsessed with real housewives of new york i just started it i know i'm like five million years late but i was just never really like super super into reality tv when i was younger i just pretty much watched jersey shore i was mostly into like scripted tv shows like pretty little liars and like the vampire diaries and stuff but uh i just started using my hulu account that i've been paying for for months and just not fucking using and i was like oh shit like you know what they have like i think all of them on there why don't i just start it but it's just so entertaining. It's not even like good TV. I just think it's it's entertaining TV. The fact that these people are so rich, but they still find a way to have like these minuscule problems. They genuinely like, I don't know. They, they make me laugh. Some of them I fucking hate though. Like Ramona, she's so annoying. She's really so annoying. Like I really hope that someone slaps her. I don't know who it's gonna be. I'm hoping that it's Jill. It's probably not gonna be anyone. They just don't seem like the type of ladies that would fight, but I could be wrong. I don't know, but I'm enjoying it so far. Now I'm taking the darkest shade in the palette. This is Templeton. And I'm kind of just gonna keep this close to the lash line. Um, I don't really feel like putting on liner or lashes today. I also didn't grab ColourPop lashes. I've been meaning to try their lashes for forever, but honestly, I'm really not even that good at applying lashes. Anyways, you guys probably have noticed, and I definitely told you. <laughs> this is such a lazy full face of ColourPop. I'm so sorry. I just- and also honestly though, not even because I was trying to get some of the stuff that I knew I didn't have but they're constantly sold out and then they're also like phasing stuff out too I don't know if they're like rebranding, I don't know what the deal is but there's a lot of stuff that's not on the website anymore and there's a lot of stuff that's out of stock and I don't know if it's gonna come back in stock Um, now I'm just gonna take this little angled brush and I'm going to take Templeton again but I want to keep this really close to the lash line just to add like an extra layer of smokiness. I told you guys, this is gonna be a very, very simple eye look. I'm half asleep right now, honestly, I'm not even gonna lie. Oh, also, I finished Bridgerton, but here's the thing. I finished it, but I wasn't even really paying attention to it, but yet I still feel like I know everything that happened. Which kind of shows me that I feel like either A, they included a lot of stuff that they didn't necessarily need to, or B, I'm just, fucking amazing at multitasking because 
I was wholeheartedly editing my last Music and Makeup Monday video, which I will link here. I think it's over here. I think it's on the side. I'm trying to remember. Which you guys should watch. I definitely put you guys onto some great, like, summary bops that should go in your playlists. You're welcome in advance. Just go get put on, basically. Like, go listen to the music. It's really good. So I'm just gonna take Pueblo. Just popping that in the corner, super simple. You could wet it if you want like a more uh, exaggerated inner corner look. Cool, I think that's it for eyeshadow. I don't really feel like putting on eyeliner today. I won't. Cool. I'm also not putting on lashes, like I said. I feel like after a while, if I continue to wear lashes, like my own lashes are gonna get fucked up. So I'm just trying to make sure that I give my own lashes some time to breathe. Okay, I'm not gonna talk while I, do, while I do this because I literally almost blinded myself yesterday. But this is the new Lash It Loud Voluminizing Mascara. This has like a super hard, non-flexy, like it's super stiff, hard, pause <laughs> mascara wand yeah i feel like my lashes really like already have gotten a little bit of damage because i know that they can look better than this i'm gonna use a different mascara this is the essence lash princess this is a super old one i'm pretty sure it's dry but i like the brush on it because it gives good separation a lot of people say this mascara flakes on them i've actually never had that issue this flake is from the, the elf one that i just used Alright, yeah, that immediately fixed it because this brush is just so good at separating. Alright, so here's the tea. I got these lip liners. I think it was like three for 15, like these three were in a set all together. It was 15 bucks. Don't these look like the same colors? These are BFF 1, 2, and 3. These are the new ones that I got from ColourPop. And I feel like they look like the same shades. So this one is So Happy, this is Field Day, and this is Petal Please. This is BFF 1, BFF 2, BFF 3. And they literally look like the exact same colors, which is probably why I bought them, because I literally only wear nudes. But you know what? You know what I'm going to do? I'll take BFF1, and I'll take So Happy, and I'll show you the difference on my lips, because I have a feeling it's going to look virtually the same. So this is going to be BFF1, you can tell, because it's not sharpened. Now, I'm going to take So Happy. Can you even tell? Can you even tell that I'm wearing two different colors? I feel like you might be able to tell that this side has a cleaner application because it's sharpened, but I swear, like they literally look the exact same on my lips. If not the exact same lip liner, literally like the slightest difference. But I'm not mad at it because like I said, I love to wear nude lips, so. So now I'm gonna take Blossom, Blossom Out, which is the luxe lip oil I got. I also got Skinny Dip, but this is like just a clear nude. Let's watch this too. This is skinny dip. I don't know why this has a pink doe foot on it. Like bright pink. It doesn't seem to like make a difference on the swatch. But that shit tripped me out the first time I saw it. And then this is Blossom Out. So Blossom Out is right here. I'm just gonna use Blossom Out. Mm. This feels heavenly on the lips. It's not sticky at all. I think it looks beautiful on the lips. I've been having like really bad dry cracky lips lately. Uh, also just because I chew at my lips. I don't know why. It's a habit I'm trying to break. I think it's because I don't bite my nails anymore because I broke that habit in 2020. But this like fills it in beautifully. Like there's like you can't even see any of the lines on my lips right now. It didn't like make the liner go all over the place. It looks so good. Love this lip combo. And then the final product that I got is the Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Setting Mist. Mm, it smells really good. So I don't know if this necessarily does anything for the long wear of your makeup. I think it's just supposed to make it glowy. I will say that it's not the like nicest spritz. Like I definitely have some dots on my face right now. We can just pat them away. But yeah, that's pretty much it, right? I think it looks cute doesn't even look heavy either the blush definitely like accentuated some of my pores here i don't know doesn't make my pores look amazing but it also doesn't make them look terrible it just looks like i have pores which i do i will say also because i put soap in my brows the foundation didn't take right above my brows but i'm not really mad at that 
like you can't really tell that's something to keep in mind for next time and also just to keep in mind in general i kind of forgot to tell you guys when you put soap in your brows you should clean up around them with like a q-tip so that the soap doesn't like coagulate with the foundation or concealer that i'm using yeah cool it's my full face of ColourPop. the blushes were good i like them i didn't try all of the shades today but i did try them yesterday when my makeup went awry because i poked myself in the eye <laughs> So, I like the formula. Uh, these bronzers, you can't get them anymore, but I know that I like them, hence why I had them. The lip liner, I liked. Um, do you necessarily need to go get it? If you have BFF 1, 2, or 3, probably not. Uh, but I think, you know, three lip liners for 15 bucks is a pretty decent deal. You get nudes, nudes work. I mean, it's a classic lip color. I don't even know if you- do you even remember what side is BFF 1 and what side is so happy what else did i use today oh their highlighter is cute it has some glitter in it not necessarily my favorite this mist is cute but it left some dots on my face however my skin looks super glowy so i'm not mad at it oh eyeshadow uh i already know i like that eyeshadow palette i used it a couple times before i'm not really like you know super into eyeshadow that much um but i actually did a colorful look if i can find a picture i'll put it here if not sorry <laughs> but i definitely used it before I know I like that palette. This was a very simple look today, as is the rest of the face. I didn't really go ham, <laughs> but yeah, I like it. I like everything I use. Sorry, it's not all ColourPop. Maybe ColourPop should get their shit together because they're getting rid of everything <laughs> or sold out on stuff for months. I don't know what is up with them, but they make decent products, so I'm not, I'm not really mad. <laughs> I think that's pretty much it, huh? yeah <laughs> i'm sorry this wasn't you know technically a first impressions technically a full face but you know the majority color pop everything else was good too but everything in color pop was good <laughs> as always if you fuck with the vibe currently subscribe you already know the deal with that i post videos every monday and friday give this video a like comment down below what you think of the look are you gonna get anything i told you about um what do you want to see from me in the future do you want to see another full face in one brand do you want to see just me doing random makeup do you want to see something in particular let me know just let me know i'm super tired today <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm literally not making any sense. Well, I think I'm making sense. I'm just probably not making sense eloquently. Basically, just comment down below, give this video a like, let me know what you wanna see, uh, and subscribe. Pretty much it. <laughs> I will see you when I see you. Hopefully, I will be less tired. <laughs>